the yobos, especially in the evenings, going down Fieldway from here, you see with crates of beer on their blooming shoulders. And one night they took every gate along one side of the road and had a bonfire. Well, at night time, I think it's sort of um, quite a bit of a bad, bad area, really, with the, um, with the teenagers and all that down here. And the police don't appear to have done a lot about it. I know people who've had guns on them, my age and that. Probably more the trouble is probably youngsters with nothing to do. Is probably the main problem, if anyone's got anything to complain about. Yeah, over the years you've seen stuff like kids climbing on the t roof of the church over there and just generally being a nuisance, minor damage, things like that. There seems to be a lack of discipline. And I don't like it when you're waiting, you go in there to, and they're always asking you to buy them fags and things like that. And I won't entertain that, but yeah, that is annoying. Um, just general noise. I mean, kids loitering around outside the shops, asking you to buy alcohol. Um, just generally what kids do at that sort of age, but it's not really policed very well, I have found. There is kids that do hang around and cause trouble, but... It's because there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, I think that's the main problem. I think places that they can go, uh, like the price has gone up, a bit too expensive for them to do and things like that now. Um, it was where I live, but then they, put in, they introduced a curfew, and that's a thousand times better where I live now because they put a curfew in place so the kids that are like teenagers have got to be in by a certain time and that stopped a lot of the problems where I live you know they was coming in and smashing glass bottles and my kids had to walk through urine and stuff like that there ain't nothing to do round here what is there to do there ain't no activities for people to do in Grace nothing around is it you know more sports facilities that are not you know necessarily joined with clubs because a lot of kids would like to play football but maybe don't want to be in a team and things like that badminton all sorts there's not enough facilities they're closing down too many of our facilities i think we kind of get more kind of people to supervise areas and stuff to kind of keep their eye open and stuff <laughs> they put cameras up and they escort anybody home who's out at a certain time at night but I really don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I have noticed a lot more of these community police about, but whether they're doing anything, it doesn't look like it because they, they're always here, these youngsters, yeah.